Welcome to ECA Limo, Learning Simplified, and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed expansion in solids and expansion in liquids, and we realized that liquids expand more than solids. We also looked at reasons why solids expand, and we said solids expand when you increase the temperature, the particle will vibrate, they will knock each other, then they will move slightly away from each other. In that case, they will occupy a larger space. In liquids, we said the particles are slightly far away from each other. When you increase the temperature of liquids, the particles will gain more kinetic energy. The collision will increase, the particles will knock each other greatly, and then they will move far away from each other. And in that case, they will cause an increase in volume. Now, in this lesson, we're going to discuss expansion and the contraction in gases. And we are going to realize that gases expand more than liquids and than solids. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to explain expansion in gases, explain why gases expand when heated and contract when cooled. Now, why do gases expand when heated? Remember what we discussed in particulate nature of matter? We said the structure of gases is like this. There is a very large, large intermolecular space the molecular space between the particles and this large intermolecular space between the particle is caused by what we call weak weak intermolecular force is caused by weak intermolecular force between the particles now if you increase the temperature, if you increase the temperature of a gas, increase temperature of a gas, the particles will gain more kinetic energy. Particles gain more kinetic energy. And when kinetic energy of the particles increases, then the random movement. A random movement will increase this will increase this increases the collision hence particles move very far away from each other from each other now, when they move very far away from each other, it means now they will occupy more volume. So this one will lead to increase in volume. So the reason why uh, gases expand more than liquids and solids is because the intermolecular force, the force which brings the particles close, is very weak than in liquids and than in gases than in solids i mean now when you increase the temperature the particles will gain more kinetic energy when the particles gain more kinetic energy the random movement or the brownian motion will also increase when brownian motion increase the particles will collide more when these particles collide more they will move very far away from each other and in the process the intermolecular distance will be very large and therefore they will occupy more volume so that is how our gases increase our volume so how can you prove that gases expand when heated and contract when cold the most and the important thing that you should note is that gases expand and contract more than liquids and we have seen this the reason is in gases the intermolecular force is very weak and in gases, the intermolecular force is slightly stronger. So therefore, if the intermolecular force is weak in gases, 
when you increase the temperature kinetic energy will increase the particles will collide more randomly and they will move very far away from each other therefore creating a large volume so if you want to prove that gases expand when heated what you do you fix a tube you fix a tube in a round bottomed flask and then you insert it in upside down in a beaker containing water and then what you do you will heat you will warm this flask from the top here and then you will observe that at first at first the water level rose slightly the water level rose slightly then after some time after some time water in the tube dropped constantly so the observation that you will make is that at first the water level inside this tube will rise slightly and then after some time the water will fall constantly and then after a long time you will see some bubbles you will see some bubbles of a gas inside this water now what happens so that water rose slightly remember when you heat this round bottomed flask you are going to heat the glass first so the glass which is in solid state will expand before the air inside gets the heat so when the flask expands it creates a larger space so the water will come in to fill that space that's why the water rose slightly then after some time the heat will reach the air which is an example of a gas now since gases expand more than solids in this case the air will expand greatly and then it will occupy a larger volume that vo that large volume is the one which will push down this water inside this delivery tube and even escape as bubbles from this water in a beaker so it's very important here to note that the observation that will be made is water will rise slightly because of the flask which gained heat fast before the air so it expanded to occupy a larger volume water will come in to occupy that created volume by the flask after some time the air which is inside which is a gas will acquire heat and since gases expand more than solids the air will expand more and then it will want to occupy more volume it will go inside this tube and push the water downwards and if it's in excess it will form some bubbles inside this water which will is a sign of an escaping gas now what will happen if you cool the flask instead of heating the flask now what you do if you bring a cold or ice this is ice on top of this round bottomed flask dipped inside a, a, a beaker containing or using a straw in this case you have a tube here so if you dip this flask like this and you cool you will observe something what you will observe at first the water level water level drops slightly then after some time after some time the water level water level the water level rises constantly so the observation that you will make here will be opposite the one that you have made earlier at first water level in this tube will fall or will drop here the water will drop fast then after some time it will rise inside this tube constantly now the reason why the water dropped inside this delivery tube or this tube is because when you introduced ice ice which is cold it interacted with the glass uh, walls first when the glass interacted with coldness since solids contract this glass will contract to occupy a relatively smaller volume since the volume of the gas inside is the same 
it, and the volume of the flask has been reduced, the water will move through this straw and push the water downwards. That's why the water falls slightly. Then after some time, the ice, all the coldness from the ice will reach this air which is inside here. Now since gases, in this case air, contracts more than solid, this gas will contract more and occupy even a less volume than the one which is being experienced in the solid. Therefore, when it occupies a less volume, it means it will leave some empty space. Water from this beaker will rise to occupy the space which has been created by a contracting uh, air inside that, that volumetric flask. So that is the end of our lesson today. In the next lesson, we will discuss thermometers as the instrument which is used to measure temperature.